Look at that little boy. That's a good looking boy. Your wife must be beautiful. She is. Don. You and me know I'm never going to be well enough to get a new heart. I don't want to die here. I want to go home. I know. I never thought I'd be a part of my son's life again. But God gave me a second chance. He doesn't hand those out to everyone. The time I got left, I want to spend it with my boy. Mr. Lopez, I'm going to get you out of here. What? <laughs> Promise. Promise. These boats are gonna be shooting here. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. What? There's one of those new mobile vet jobs? Check it out, Calamari. Portable, self-contained, and self-powered. Oh yeah. Is that beautiful or what? Yeah, doesn't really do it for me, boss, but I'm an old-fashioned gal. Action. It's a hernia. Inguinia. Cut. No, darling. Do you believe this? Inguino. Hell have I know, but the audience Oh, brother. Dr. D? Mm-hmm. Guess we're stuck here. We might as well make the best of it. Oh, I would love to, Gina. But my batteries need to recharge. <laughs> I meant we could have a conversation. What, and ruin a perfectly good relationship? <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. But let's not be serious. This is, this is the most time we've ever spent together. I've, I've never seen you outside the hospital anyway. You don't want to know me outside the hospital, Gina. So how long have you been working here? You like it? Yeah. I was thinking of putting in for OR cleanup. The pay's better, on account it takes special training. It's really hard to get into, though. It's really competitive. But I don't really know how any of that housekeeping stuff works. I can't help you. I didn't ask for your help. No, I know, but I'm just saying, you know. Forget it. I was just trying to make conversation. Wait, you know, I didn't, I didn't mean to, to. I'm out of here. Moving on. Let's set up. Hey, hey, Frank, what can I do you for? Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm afraid we may have a potential harassment situation involving a doctor and one of your girls. Uh-uh. Women. Women. That's what I meant. Yang, the discharge on bed nine. Uh, that's where I'm headed. And bed eight, grab a CBC, a K, PT, PTT, RUA, EKG, CXR, and a KUB. Skip the GGE? Yeah, we did an SBFT. Um, yeah, I'm not sure the result is here. Go find it. In GI. Oh, yeah, in GI. I... No, after the discharge. Oh, OK, I was going to say that, actually. <laughs> Mr. Williams? Dr. Yang here. Um, doctor? 
This is Mr. Williams, my father. Oh. Sorry. How you doing, Mr. Williams? Pretty good. So you're uh, going home today? Pretty good. That's all he says since the stroke. But you're set to go home? Not really. He's still having trouble swallowing it, and he's shaky on his feet. I'm not sure I'm quite ready to take care of him by myself. Well, maybe he should stay a few more days until he's stronger. I asked Dr. Joyner about that last night, but she said he's ready to go home. Dr. Yang, we need those discharge papers. Um, you know, Dr. Joyner is going to be doing rounds in a couple of hours, so we'll talk to her about it then. But they want us out now. Yeah, don't, e don't worry about it. We're going to take care of your dad. Thank you, Dr. Yang. You have a wonderful new doctor, Daddy. Pretty good. Got those discharge orders? Uh, right here. I'm going to put them in Mr. Williams' chart right now. Thank you, Dr. Yang. Yang. Where's my GI study? I'm on my way to get it. How's it going? No. What do you mean, no? No. Sutro Medical does not cover experimental treatments. Hold on a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. It's not experimental, Dong. I do not have your luxury of getting emotionally involved with patients. Sutro Medical has a limited number of healthcare dollars, okay? Your guy wants a mobile VAD, okay? I have patients who need dialysis machines, artificial limbs, wheelchairs. What am I supposed to say to them? Sorry, we're broke, because some guy wanted to go home. Mr. Lopez paid his premiums. Oh, he's already taken out a lot more than he put in, I assure you. A dead patient is cheaper than a live one, right, Don? That is simple math. That is not a judgment. He's dying. Gentlemen, just get him a mobile VAD, would you please? Oh, maybe Gentlemen, while we're at it, please. he's got some other dying wishes that Sutro Medical can pay for. Maybe he'd like to go to Hawaii or to Mardi Gras. Maybe he'd like to go for a ride on the space shuttle. No, he just wants to go home. What is a Doctor, mobile van? Doctor, goodbye. Miss Pangborn, take my advice. Listen to Nurse Poole. She is the only level-headed thinker in this zoo. It's all right. Everything's going to be fine. Hey, I need you to do something for me. Yeah, hey, man. You don't know what it is. Well, consider it done. What can I at least tell you? I need you to cover my trauma call on Saturday, because I'm I'm going to see my son. Yeah, no problem. Hey, we're all set to go here, Doc. We're ready when you are. Thank you for this. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, you can't be back here right now. Don't worry about it. I need this area clear. We got to move this stuff inside for the shoot. You guys go all out. This stuff must have cost a fortune. You could. They give us this stuff free for product placement. Hey, hey, come on, let's go. I'm Bruce Kellerman. Amy Park. You an actor? No, actually, I'm a real doctor. All right, people, gotta move on. Hey, you, off the phone. Come on. Move these boxes down. Yeah, the TV shoot down at Mission General. Right, right. Listen, Amy wants to know where the VAD is. The VAD she ordered. Well, I don't know. It's a, some kind of mobile unit or something. 
Well, don't ask me why it's not on your list. Just get it down here, ASAP. You can't? Hang on. Amy says forget it. Yeah, come on down, get all your stuff. What? Because we're gonna go with another company. This afternoon? All right, just make sure it's the mobile unit. Yeah, mobile unit. Right, right. My name? Federhoff. Well, what I'm getting at is I think Gina Reyes would make a terrific candidate for award duty. Oh, and what makes you say that? Normally I wouldn't get involved, but I think this girl... Uh-uh, woman. Woman. Uh, I happen to notice she does an excellent job on the wards. She's fast, efficient, courteous. All right, doctor. I'll keep your recommendation in mind. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mm. Hello? Frank, Letitia. Dr. Del Getty was just here. I think you were right about him. Looked like to me the son of a bitch traded sexual favors for the promise of giving her a good recommendation. Oh, dear Lord, she could sue. You better get on this, Frank. Right, uh, thanks, Letitia. Uh -huh. Howdy! Shooting in patients' rooms was never part of our agreement. Well, the story won't work without this scene. I... There are sick people here. Exactly, Ms. Pangborn. You need the money to treat them, and I want the real deal. So, come on, tell me. How much is it going to cost me? Five thousand more. Three. Four. And you're out by nine. Deal. Where's my Caesar salad, Tim? Dr. Hall, recovery room. Right. Dr. Hall, the recovery room. What about the lab values? The CBC, K, RUA, and CXR were all normal. What about the SBFT? He overslept. We're rescheduling with GI. Good. We'll do a follow-up. Very good. Hi, Alicia. Hello, Dr. Joyner. I thought Mr. Williams was going home. Did you put in the discharge order? Actually, I was talking to Alicia earlier, and she mentioned that she was concerned about taking her father home so soon. Very good. Did you put in the discharge orders? Yeah, this morning. Then there must have been some kind of mix-up. I'll go straighten it out. No, 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 no. No need. I found them in Mr. Butler's chart. I want to see you after rounds. In private. It's Federhoff. Where the hell's the truck? We're setting up the shot. 30 minutes? Fine, it's fine. Amy? No, why? Why can't I sign for it? Oh. No, no, no problem. I'll, I'll make sure she's here, yeah. What? Why? Well, you, you know, said I told you... you I didn't want your help. I know, I know, but I yeah, just... But you uh... just did it anyway. God, you're just like every other doctor. You think you could do whatever you want. I don't need to be rescued. I was fine before you came along. I was just trying to help. Thanks a lot. We had our fun, doctor, and just leave me alone. Have you seen Maggie? No. You gotta help me find her. It's an emergency. Why, right, what have we got? Delivery. Breach? That was a juvenile stunt you pulled with Mr. Williams' orders. I'm not the least bit amused. I'm sorry, Dr. Joyner. I just didn't think that he was ready to go. Based on three hours of experience as a doctor of medicine, he can't swallow or even get around by himself. Two more days in the hospital is not going to change that. What he needs is home care and rehab, and that's exactly what he's going to get.